This is our final session for our Henry Rousseau jungle painting. We're going to use Sharpie. We're going to use two different kinds of Sharpie. Number one, there's the fine point Sharpie. This one is the one with the larger um, felt tip. It looks like that. And the other one is the ultra fine point Sharpie with the little metal tip and then the teensy weensy little felt tip on the front. Um, this one's going to be used for the fine details in the background and the other one is going to be used for the foreground trees. Whenever you're done using a Sharpie, whether you're getting up to get a drink or you're talking to a friend or you're coming to ask Mr. Lungan a question, please make sure to put the cap on. Squish it all the way down so it's firmly on the pen. When these um, are left open, they dry out very quickly and they're expensive to replace, so it's just super nice if you can put that cap on and keep them nice and moist. Um, when you get started, what we're going to do is we're going to use our fine point sharpie to do the foreground trees, this one here on the side and this one here on this side, and use it to do the um, bushes or leaves down here in the front. You can see I already did just a little bit up here um, and to kind of show you what that looks like. And what you're going to do, just take your Sharpie and simply trace around the leaves and trees. Um, do it nicely, do it neatly, make sure that you're going around your shapes nicely um, without going, you know, without being too sloppy. Otherwise, then you got to start painting again, which you don't want to do. So make sure you're being really nice and neat and tracing around. Remember, the softer you push with your Sharpie, the better lines you will get, right? Because the Sharpie is all about using the very tip and gently pressing down. If you press down harder, it will break the Sharpie and then it doesn't work so well. So use the Sharpie and be nice and careful with it, okay? And at this point, I'm going to start t stop talking, and we can continue watching it. And if you want to fast forward it, we can do that too.
There you can see I'm done with my final Sharpie for the side here, the bottom and the other side. That's what I used my fine point Sharpie for. Now we're going to move on to the ultra fine point Sharpie for the next section.